Hello everybody, it's Meg Ray, and this is a going to be a very special, different type of video where I'm going to show you 30 mini animal designs. Now, I did try to make them as small as I possibly could, so I'm basically going to be using any block that has any slabs or stairs. That way I can get those animals to be as small as I can possibly get them. Some of them might be more two-dimensional than three-dimensional, but that's just because, again, I wanted to make them as tiny as I possibly could. It's going to take time to go through each and every one, so it's going to be a little bit of a longer video, but I hope you'll find at least one of these useful. So let's go. Number one, we have a little deer. And again, like I said, we are only going to be using blocks that contain stairs and slabs in their palette. This one's going to be using spruce and birch. And then once we have the animal built, we're going to take acacia trap doors, and we're going to use those for the antlers. First, we'll have to place a few temporary blocks, then we're going to place our trapdoors, and then once we remove those, they will become antlers. Number two, we're going to be doing a little fox, and I'm going to be using acacia wood for this. Of course, it could be any other orange block, such as red sandstone, and birch for the lighter parts, but that could be quartz if you wanted it to be more white. Once you create this first shape here, we are going to add on to it some more. I'm going to take the stair and we're going to add some back legs on the sides and extend the tail with some additional slabs. Now we need to add the ears on the fox and we're going to do this using spruce trap doors. Place a temporary block right on top of the fox's head. Then place the trap doors on either side and then remove the center block. Number three, we're going to be making a little frog. I'm going to be using dark prismarine since it's kind of greenish in color. So go ahead and create this first shape and then we're going to add on some extra things once we have this done. Once that is done, we're going to add some front legs by placing an additional slab on the corners of this stair. Now for the back legs, we're going to place a regular stair facing forward with an upside down stair right behind that. Then one more slab on top of the first stair we placed. Now we're going to give him some eyes by adding an item frame with a dark slab placed inside. So now he has slotted eyes. Number four, we have a bison. Now the legs on this one are going to be upside down stairs, so you might have to place a temporary block to get those placed. Once those are done, the rest of it should be pretty easy. So once we create this whole shape, that's basically all we need to do. And when it's completely finished, we just need to add some birch fences on either side of the head for the horns. Number five is a camel, and this is going to be super easy. All you have to do is follow the guides that I've given you, and we don't need to add anything additional to this. Okay, I lied. Once you have it complete, there is one thing we're going to add, and that's some eyes. And I'm going to use dark oak buttons, since they're the darkest buttons available. Number six, we're going to be doing a giraffe. Go ahead and build out the entire shape, and then once you do, we can add just a couple additional details. I did use birch for mine, but sandstone would be another option for the giraffe. And honestly, might be better because of that circle-like texture it has on the sides. Now for the top, we're going to add the ears, and we're going to do the same method we did for the antlers on the deer. So place a few placeholder blocks on top of the head, then place birch trap doors for the ears. Now we can remove those blocks, and in the very center, between those ears, we'll place an acacia gate and open it, and those will be the horns on the giraffe. Number seven, we're going to be doing a hippo, and this is again going to be another really simple build. I'm very limited in the blocks I have available to make animals of this size, but I'm going to try prismarine bricks for this one. The legs might be a little bit trickier since they're using just stair blocks, so you might have to place a couple placeholder blocks to get those. But once you have them down, the rest of it should just stack on top really easily. And once you've completely finished the hippo, just add a couple buttons for the eyes. Number eight, we're going to be building an elephant, and I'm going to be using dark prismarine for this one. So take the time you need to build this entire shape. Once we have that done, all we have to do is add some ears. So we're going to find the column directly in line with the front leg, and we're going to place a block in the middle, right next to where his face would go, and then a stair block on top of that. 
Then we're going to go underneath and place an upside down stair facing the elephant. So go ahead and repeat this on the other side and then you have your ears done. Then just add your buttons for eyes and there's your mini elephant. Number nine, let's build a rhino. I'm going to be using cobblestone for this one and you're just going to have to build out this one flat shape. There will be a cobblestone wall right on the stair in the front and that will be his horn. And then we'll be adding additional cobblestone walls on either side for the ears and then a button for the eyes. I personally think that this little guy turned out really well. Number 10, we're going to be making a mini crocodile. Use any block you think is most representational to a crocodile. I'm going to be using prismarine for mine. We will be adding the legs separately from this. So once you have the body and tail completely done, for the front legs, take a stair block and place them on either side of the head facing forward. Then on the third block back from those, we're going to place another stair block facing outward for the back legs. Then we're just going to add our eyes, and there's a crocodile. Number 11. We're going to be doing an ostrich. We're going to start this one off a little bit differently by doing the legs first, and it's just going to be two fence posts, one block apart, that are two blocks high. Then you can build out the shape that you see on the diagram. I'm using dark oak for the body, and then birchwood for the neck and the head. Now I know this doesn't look the greatest, so you are going to have to use your imagination for some of these builds, as I did my best to make them look like the animal. Now we need to add some wings, so go ahead and add one more dark oak slab right here on the body, and then a cord slab right on top of the fence. Do that on both sides, and there's your ostrich. Number 12. Let's do a lawn neck dinosaur. I'm going to be using nether brick for the entire build, and you're really not going to have to add anything extra. So just build exactly what you see, and that's really all you have to do. I really can't think of anything special to say for this, other than if you wanted to make it taller, you're more than welcome to do so. But again, I want to make these as small as I possibly can. So there's a dinosaur. Number 13. We are going to be doing a duck build platypus. And again, I made this one extremely simplified, so you're really going to have to use your imagination when it comes to this one. There's really not much to see for the body, and then we're just going to add four flippers on either side, using the dark oak slabs, and then we're going to extend the tail a little bit on the side. So it's a very, very simple design, but you can pretend it's a duck-built platypus. Number 14 is a ram, and I really like how this design turned out. I think it turned out very well. So go ahead and create this shape using preferably a brown block, so I'm going to be using spruce. So once you have the body complete, we're going to be taking a spruce trapdoor and put it on the back, and that will look kind of like a tail. Now taking quartz, we're going to be adding the horns on the ram. So just place a single stair block on either side of the head with a slab on top, and it looks like a ram's horns. Number 15, let's do a kangaroo. This whole layer is going to be completely floating off the ground, so you will have to place a block initially to start it off. You might have to place several blocks to help you place some of these slabs in certain places as they get really close to the ground. But once you have the body completely built and all of the blocks facing the right direction, we're going to add the hind legs. So we need to find the block in the center, this upside down stair right here, and we'll put a stair right next to that, facing forward. Now diagonally across from that stair, we're going to do an upside down stair and another regular on top. So do that on the other side, and then you have the back legs. And there's our kangaroo. Isn't he cute? Number 16, let's try a koala. And I really mean it when I say try. This really didn't turn out as well as I had hoped, but we're going to include it anyway. Once we create the whole body, we're just going to add cobblestone walls for the ears and then a couple stair blocks facing outward for the legs. It's close enough, right? Number 17. Let's make a little monkey. I'm going to be using dark oak for him, and he's a very, very simple monkey. He only has a few blocks to place for the body. So once you have those few blocks placed, then all we have to do is add a tail with some dark oak fences, and you can make this go in any direction you want. 
Now taking dark oak trap doors, we're just going to put those on either side of his head, and those will be his ears. Number 18. We're going to be building a panda for this one. With these small designs, I really hope that they look like the animals that they're supposed to be. This is another example of one that didn't look quite like a panda, but it's close enough. And technically, you could make this be any bear and not just a panda, but we'll color this one like a panda with nether brick and quartz. So once we have this whole shape, we're just going to take our nether brick stair again and place it on the back for the back legs. Number 19. Let's make a mini sea turtle. Because it is a little more three-dimensional, I don't have a diagram for this one, and you'll just have to follow block by block. I'm going to be using prismarine bricks to create the shell, so let's go ahead and make a little X using those bricks. Then on each corner of that X, we'll place upside down stairs facing the front and the back. To complete the shell, we'll be placing slabs on top in the same X pattern. Now we're going to take our dark prismarine, put one on the front for the head, then we'll put a couple on the side for the front flippers. Then going around to the back, place a couple more slabs behind those stairs, and there's our little sea turtle. Number 20 is a duck, and you might have seen a design similar to this one before, but it's only going to be six little blocks, so it is probably the simplest of all of the animals, and we will of course be adding buttons again for the eyes. Hello, little duckling. Number 21, let's build a swan. We're gonna have to use quartz for this one since it is the only white block that we could. Unless you wanted to do like a black swan in which you would have to use something like nether brick. But yeah, let's not get into that. Absolutely nothing else needs to be added. So once you build it out like this, then you're done. Number 22, this is another bird design. We're going to be doing a pelican. And similar to the swan, we will be using quartz, but we'll also be using acacia for the bill and the legs. This one also is completely two-dimensional, so once you build out this shape, you're pretty much done. We just need to add a couple eyes since we have space for them. Number 23, let's build a seal. Again, this one is pretty straightforward. We're just going to build out the entire shape that you see using cobblestone blocks or stone brick blocks if you prefer. And that is going to be the body. Now we need to add flippers and these are going to be a little bit trickier. So finding the first full block on the bottom row, the one right behind the stair, we're going to place a temporary block there and then I'm going to stand on top of it to place this upside down stair. We need to place it so that the upside down stair is facing the body. Then place a single slab on the other end of the stair. Now duplicate that on the other side, and once we have both of the flippers done, all we have to do is, of course, add the eyes. Number 24 is a butterfly. And I know my diagram doesn't look anything like a butterfly, that's because it's just the body. We're gonna have to make sure though that these slabs are being placed in the right locations for it to look right. So make sure that the lower slab is on a bottom half of the block. But once you have all of your slabs placed, now we're going to be adding wings and these are going to be a little bit tricky. Starting from the lower end of the butterfly, place a couple of stairs facing out, delete the center one, and then do an upside down stair facing inward. So repeat that on the other side. Now we're going to repeat that pattern for the top wing, except we're going to have the center block being a regular stair instead of upside down. So I'm just going to build out stairs until I get them in the right location, and then replacing the center ones with upright stairs facing the middle. Now taking a dark oak gate, I'm going to place it on the front of this front slab. Then we'll open it, and those can be the antennae of the butterfly. If you wanted your butterfly to have different colored wings, you could do a different colored stair block. Maybe purple blocks or quartz? I don't know, there's not a whole lot of stair colors. At least not yet. Number 25 is a snail. This one's again pretty straightforward. I'm going to be using red sandstone for once instead of wood, and we'll be creating the entire outline of the snail. Now I'm going to place a birch gate in the front that's opened. Again, just like the butterfly, these will be the antennae of the snail. Now taking regular sandstone blocks, I'm going to replace the two corner pieces and the center block on the shell, and that will just give it more of a shell-like texture. 
Number 26. Let's make an octopus. This again is going to be a completely three-dimensional one, so I'm not really going to give you any guides, but instead just show you. Using purple blocks, I'm going to make a pillar that is four blocks high. On each end of that pillar, I'm going to place two stairs on the top. And there we have a head. Now all we have to do is make a tentacle on each side of this pillar. You can use any combination of slabs and stairs you want, as long as it looks squirmy and like an octopus. But I would recommend keeping them straight because we will be adding other tentacles going on the diagonals. This is one build that could go as big or as small as you want. Make the tentacles as big as you like. Once you're done with those tentacles, we'll just be adding the diagonal ones using slabs. Go in any direction you want. So that's my mini octopus. Number 27. This is another one of my personal favorites. We're going to be making a little seahorse, and I'm going to make it entirely out of acacia wood. Everything you see in the diagram is all you're going to need for this, so just fill it out as you see it, and that is all you have to do for the seahorse. We will be using fences in the back, and those will represent his fin. Number 28. This one is very unique, I think. We're going to be doing a narwhal. And this one is really simple design again. It just has a simple blocky body. And then we'll be using an end rod for his tusk sticking out the front. And then we'll be adding eyes using buttons. Now we just need to add some additional flippers with some slabs on either side, as well as extending his tail in the back with those. And there's a simple narwhal. Number 29 is a goldfish, and this two-dimensional fish is very straightforward. Just build it out as you see it. The top fin will have a couple of slabs you'll have to place on top of each other, so don't get tricked by that. We'll also be placing additional slabs on either side for the fin, and this time I'm going to be using a birch button for the eyes. I just like the way it contrasts with the orange. Plus, fish have very bright eyes. And last but not least, number 30 will be doing a mini dolphin. Now I know I did do a larger dolphin before in a tutorial, but this one is just a much smaller design if you're looking for something like that. And I'm going to be using cobblestone. Create this full body as you see it, and then we'll add the additional fins. But once you have this entire body created, we're going to find the base of the dorsal fin and place two diagonal slabs for the side fins. Then just one more slab on each side of the tail. And there we have a mini dolphin. Well, there you have it, 30 mini animal designs. Those are not as easy to come up with as you may think. I hope you found at least one of these useful, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. I do have some other tutorials available if you're interested in checking those out. Anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I will see you some other time.